Hi everyone, I'm really, really excited because I've just finished creating the world's most glittery natural glitter. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It sparkles like nothing anybody's ever seen. And I'm ready to share it with you all so you can use it in your art, make whatever you can out of it. There's just one person I won't share this with and that person is Anish Kapoor. More than ever, I do not want him anywhere near this substance. There he is, sat in his throne room, all the gold in the world around him, and he still can't spare a grain of the world's blackest black for the rest of us. That's really unfair. But sadder than that, much sadder than that, is poor Anish doesn't look happy because he can't experience that beautiful, warm, fuzzy feeling that only comes from sharing a colour with the rest of the world. A lot of you have been writing in and messaging me and saying, Stuart, are you going to share any of the other cool stuff you use in your work? And I've been trying, honestly, but a lot of them are really difficult to share. I mean, it's all right for me to use it in my studio, but to make something I can send out to everybody is quite different. I'm working on it, but it's going to take a bit more time. However, after eight years, I'm really, really excited because my glitter is ready. A lot of glitters are plastic. You know, they give a kind of fake kind of sparkle, but the best glitter is probably diamond dust, at least in my opinion. The difference between diamond dust and normal glitter is it's made out of glass, little shards of glass. And what that means is when you sprinkle it on your work, you can still see the work through it. So it basically embellishes the work. It gives the, the work a sparkle, but it doesn't detract from the piece itself. So about 10 years ago, I saw Warhol's diamond dust shoes and I thought they were brilliant. And I really, really wanted to get my hands on some diamond dust to use in my work. But unfortunately, being in the UK, it was an absolute nightmare to get hold of it. I could get cheap artificial glitter, but I couldn't get diamond dust. That led me to start a relationship with a British chemical company that made glass flake products actually for major building projects. So they would mix the glass flake into concrete and coat buildings with it to make it strong. What we've stumbled across and perfected is the most glittery natural glitter on the planet. Now this diamond dust is, a, is what I call a super shard because the glass we use is 99.8% clear. So it has super clarity, which means it's almost invisible. The other thing we did is normal diamond dust is quite small. These shards are big and we cut them randomly. So these shards have random edges that reflect light at all different angles. What that means is this stuff sparkles like mad. So rather than be a nasty human being and hoard this for myself and only use this super sparkly awesome thing on my own work, I thought a really nice thing to do would be to open up this material to everybody so everybody can have a play with it and see what comes of it. All I ask is that you don't share any with Anish Kapoor. Anish, if you're watching this, you're not getting your hands on a single shard of this super glitter until you share the black with the rest of us. For those of you that don't know what I'm on about or why I won't share this with Anish Kapoor, earlier in the year, Anish Kapoor secured the exclusive rights to the world's blackest black. This stuff's called Vanta Black. It's the blackest substance known to humanity and it absorbs almost all lights. The effect is a bit like a black hole. The military were using it, astronomers were using it, NASA were using it, but Anish secured the rights so he could be the only artist using it. Only Anish Kapoor can use the world's blackest black in his art. Now I thought that was really unfair. An awful lot of other artists thought that was unfair as well. A lot of my friends wanted to use it. I wanted to use it in my work and we, we simply couldn't. So I thought I'd do something about it. Now I've been developing my own art materials to use in my own work for over a decade, working with different paint manufacturers and chemical companies and that kind of thing. And one of the substances I created was the world's pinkest pink. It's really bright, it is super pink, it's ultra fluorescent, 
it chucks out loads of light, it basically glows, it's really special pink. And rather than just keeping my pink to myself, I thought, hey, why don't I share it with everybody? Why don't I let everybody use the pink and see what happens? But I won't share it with Anish Kapoor. So I'll share it with everyone in the world, except for Anish Kapoor, and that might, if I'm lucky, give him a bit of a taste of his own medicine, and he might rethink really sharing the black with the rest of us. Now, what happened was just mind-blowing. The pink has taken on a complete life of its own. Thousands and thousands and thousands of you have uh, started using the pink. You've been making nail varnish out of it, dyeing your hair, making paintings, making sculptures textile work, furniture, I mean, it's been phenomenal. I've literally spent every day for the last month sending pink out all over the world. But the problem is Anish Kapoor isn't paying the blindest bit of notice. He still hasn't shared his black. So we have to up the ante, we have to keep the pressure on him if we're ever gonna get our hands on this substance. So um, on the website, I made a simple website and put the pink up and people have been ordering it and I've been basically selling it for what it cost me to make it and it's just been absolutely phenomenal. So on there today I've added the diamond dust. This stuff, the world's most glittery natural glitter and I'd like everybody to be able to use it and have a go with it. I don't want to hoard this stuff for myself, it's amazing, everybody should be able to have some. I don't see why not, I mean that's how good things happen. There's just one person that can't have it that's Anish Kapoor. So when you go on the website to order yours, you are going to have to agree to a legal disclaimer that you're not Anish Kapoor. You're not going to share it with Anish Kapoor. And to the best of your knowledge, information and belief, this stuff isn't going to make its way into the hands of Anish Kapoor. Because we really don't want him to have this. Unless, of course, he shares the black with the rest of us, in which case it's totally cool. He can have bucket loads if he wants. So please, please, please don't share this with Anish Kapoor, at least until he shares the black with the rest of us. Thank you everyone so much. Honestly, everyone that's got behind the pink and share the black, you're just amazing. Let's keep the pressure up. Let's get them to share the black with us. And I honestly really hope that you enjoy playing with this glitter. Can't wait to see what you make. Thank you.